Running backs need some work, but maybe he gets lucky. Yeah. Uh, number four, the uh, Mofos. You know, it's that team that every week we don't know how they do it. They've been outscored by their opponents, I think, over 100 points, yeah. yet another win for the Mofos to go 5-2. and two. So I give them a B on the wins. But talent, I give them a B minus. I, I, they've got two good receivers, two Mike Wallace. Love that guy. Vic's a scorer. Let's see Vernon Davis have a little more consistency. But the Mofos, I, you look at that lineup and then you look at it again, you're like, okay, it's pretty good. You know, I'll, I'll give them a B minus. But points a D plus. Again, being outscored by your opponents by that many. He's finding ways to win, but that may catch up with him. D plus for points. In team management, I give him a B minus. I think he hasn't had to make too many moves. He's made effective moves, and, uh, and that gives him an overall score of a B minus slash C plus. Yeah, you know, I'm about the same. Uh, I agree with you about the talent, middling talent uh, wins. So, you know, he's, he's five and two. He's going to get an A minus there. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, his points though is bad. You know, he's only got 847 total points. Uh, he loses any, he's going to hit that need to make a tie, and he's not going to have the points to do that. I give that a C. Team management, I give it a B minus. This guy, uh, he's only made eight moves, but when you're a manager and you're seeing that you're scoring far less than the top tier, you got to make moves that are going to put points. And I believe he's left some points out there, and I, I give this guy, a, I give this manager, the team C, C plus. Okay. Okay. Uh, number three, the Rollers, uh, you know, ask us a week ago, these scores may have looked a little bit different, coming off a tough loss and a tough week of injury and bad news and just underachievement. The Rollers here, talent-wise, I give them a B-, minus. you know, when you've got Megatron on your lineup right now, he can do no wrong. Yeah. I, that propels your talent <coughs> through the roof. I think the injury to Javid Best Ooh, that's is going to, to be very costly. We'll see if he gets it, back on the field. It's sad. He's uh he's lost two games now. He's, his wins are a B for me. He's five and two. I mean, if you want an A, you don't lose. Yeah. Uh, points. He's a B. I mean, he's he scored a bunch of points. He fell off this past week. Might have cost him a plus or minus here. Give him a B. And team management, I give him a B. I mean, he's been doing the things he needs to do. He's been winning and scoring consistently in the 130s, like we said last week. Uh, you know, he's had a decent draft, led to his decent grade at talent. Overall, I give the Rollers just a B. Yeah. They're, they're a good team. They're not great. They've won a bunch of games. If they're facing injury, they're a B. Yeah, I am. Uh... I, I can't disagree with you. I have him at a B as well. I, I think that uh, talent-wise, uh, you know, he's not explosive yet. He needs to get explosive players. Um, maybe he needs to work a trade. Uh, a minus on the win category. That uh, loss last week had must have stung. I know you didn't. He didn't have Lashawn McCoy, but you know you gotta find the pieces of the puzzle that are gonna give you that extra six points. I mean, you just got to do it. Uh, points, though, this guy, uh, he's got 937 points, and that is going to break a lot of ties. I think he's a shoo in for the playoffs. I give him a B-plus on that. Um, as a team manager, I give him, I give him about a, a B-plus. You know, I mean, he's made 16 moves, so he's active. Right. And he was the, the manager who did raise a little stink about how the waiver wire was prioritized earlier in the season. And, you know, so you know he wants to get those horses. But, you know, right. when you're up around the top, you've got to be extra creative. You well, I don't think we extra. question the passion of the role. Oh. Oh, I think no. we give them a B on management because we just don't think that passion always equals success. I think that they're making moves. Some are good, some aren't. Things are changing. You know, I don't, I don't know how great of a manager he is yet. Let's see him win something. And I did speak with the Boon Humper and after the um, his wonderful win over the Rollers last week, and he did receive a message from uh, the Rollers management team, and they were uh, quite uh, um, gracious in their loss. We give him props. Uh, 
you know, for for that kind of sportsmanship, you know, this isn't Jim Harbaugh and you know that other guy, Jim Schwartz from uh, Detroit. We're these managers in this league shake each other's hands. We'll go to number two, uh, Mason Keat Colby. Uh, you know, he's by been my number one power rank guy for the last three weeks. We got a little bit of exposure this week. I grade his talent as a B plus. I think he's got a good core that scores him a lot of points. But I think his depth that he believes he has, hey, I don't I see don't it know. deeper than a three-foot pool. Yeah. <laughs> B-plus, Mace Hahn, Pete Colby wins a B-plus. I mean, he's, he's won five games. He's five and two. He put together a little five-game winning streak. Yeah, right? he did. I mean, you can't deny that. His points have been off the chart until this week when he shat the bed. The last two weeks. You know, uh, week well, before, you absolutely so well right. Either. Good point. But this, what I mean by shatting the bed is you don't break 100. Uh, you don't break 80. You're going to you got to drop the, the pants. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so he drops to an A- minus in points, and he lost the overall lead in points to Dr. Dick. Management, I give him a B. He's made, like the Peace Warriors, a ton of moves. Peace Warriors, four and three. He's five and two. I don't think his moves have really affected his success. No. I think he's just making moves to kind of explore and make things better. And that's good. I like the attitude. I give him a B. I don't think he's done much to make his team great off the waiver wire. Overall, B plus. Interesting. Yeah, no, I have him at a, a, an A minus. I, you know, I, I'm going to give this guy an A plus for team management just because. He's provided the uh, league with so much fodder. You know, these uh, trade proposals that are uh, so one-sided. Uh, just, I've talked to the managers and it makes them chuckle. And, you know, he, he made aggressive. 27 he moves. Is this guy is, you know, he's the dog that's trying to hump all the legs. I mean, this is good <laughs> stuff. Good for him. Uh, obviously, he gets an A for uh, his... Uh, uh, point total at 1019.272. This guy uh, has the ability to put up points, but we're getting down to that, uh, the winter season. We're going to get into that with the power rankings. Uh, those scores could alter rather quickly and drastically for the worse. Uh, a minus for the wins. You know, he's 5 and 2. He had a good run, but these last two wins. Actually, you know, I'm going to give that a, a B plus just because those last two win, uh, losses. Or that last loss last week, and then the week before that win, they were ugly, and you yep. know that was just horrific. And talent, I give him, a, I give him a B. You know, I think yeah. he's he's got some studs, but he's also got a lot of mules. Okay, uh, and our number one team in the league, Doctor Dick. I mean, I, again, I don't see an A team in this league. I don't see an, a, a flawless team like we've seen in the past. Dr. Dick's the best we got right now. He sits at number one. I think we'll probably see that in the power rankings. Mm -hmm. Talent, he's got a B plus to me. I think there's holes there, but he's been able to make he's been able to skate through these bye weeks and plug the right players in. B plus for talent, A minus for wins, A minus for points. He's lost a game. He can't be an A. No. Uh, and points. Uh, he scored the most points in the league. And it's pretty good. I guess I could give him an A for that, but I think we've seen A points by the Playful Pickle last year, which couldn't be touched. Sure. That's an A to me. Beat that and you get an A. A minus for team management. The guy plugs in the right player every time. No, no. Plaxico Burris is, is said to be dropped by many uh, in many leagues. He plays in last week three touchdowns. Wow. Jermaine, uh, uh, Jerome Simpson out of mm -hmm. Cincinnati, the day that they beat the Peaceful Warriors. He's plugging in him. He's got Jim yes, Donovan yes. Stewart now going. This, whatever this guy touches turns to gold. Team management, I give him an A-. minus. Yeah. He has one loss. If he, if he didn't have that one loss, he'd probably get an A there. Yeah, he's clearly the best, uh, it's clearly the best uh, team in this league right now. Uh, straight up A-. minus. He does have holes, but uh, I, you can't fault the team management. You know, uh, they're making uh, not a huge amount of moves, but they're making the right moves. Uh, overall points, 1036.36. This guy, uh, you know, he's leading the league. That's all you can say. He's yeah. on pace to, uh, you know, break 2,000 points. It's pretty hard to do. Wins, he gets an A. He's lost one, you know, give it to him. And he's blowing people out of the water when he does win. And uh, talent, I, the talent is actually the only thing that I have. I, I look at that team. Has some talented uh, pieces, but I don't see this overall huge, you know, gelling of uh, players like the playful pickle. 
I spoke with the manager of the Playful Pickle that year, who is now apparently the Boone Humper Management, and that was just, it was such a collection of 